Good morning to you all out there and welcome to another one of my videos. I'm at Littlehampton today. I'm in the West Car Park, which is the smaller of the two car parks. It's going to be one of those busy days. People are just piling down today. So um, I got down here mega early. Tide's on its way out. I went and pumped a few blow lug. And I'm in the um, harbour mouth. The harbour's just behind me. This is the mouth of the Ada. Boats going out, boats coming in, so I'm going to fish hard to the wall. Um, tide's still going out, and plan is in about an hour's time it'll turn, and I'm going to fish it um, for a couple of hours in. I thought rather than sitting at home, I would come out. I'm pretty excited for Sunday, I have to say. I, uh, I've been invited out by Neil on his boat, who's one of my subscribers. How cool is that? And um, it's going to be a beezer of a day. I'm going on Sunday. I'm going to take my video kit with me. And he said, don't bother bringing any rods. He's going to supply them. So really, really looking forward to it. And it was a charming thing for him to do. And you can see just how strong the tide's running by this little boat trying to come back in. I'd say it's a good seven, eight, probably 10 knots. And he's pushing against it um, and not going that quickly. And speed limit here I think it's five knots as it is with most harbours. So Ross may turn up this morning, um, who knows, um, I think he probably will and I'm going to free line a sand eel and I'm going to fish with a tiny tiny little bit of blow lug on this one. Two I suppose carp rods I'm using with um, eight pound line and something that's a little bit different, fancied a bit of a change. And there's humongous amounts of weed along the beaches that I fish, like where you get these thick clods of it all along the beach. And I couldn't really face doing that. I knew if I'd gone to Celsius, it wouldn't be good. So we're gonna have a sort of a, a session that reminds me of when I was younger, fishing for itty bitty fish and whatever fish are down here. So let's chuck these rods out. This bike caught me totally unawares and I wasn't focusing. I'd been gobbing to uh, somebody just behind me out of shot and uh, I didn't have a chance to put the sound on, so my apologies. But I had a whacker of a little bite and um, I got a little bass. And one of you chaps out there the other day was saying to me that I needed to catch some bass. Well, I've caught one. Not, not a world-breaking one, I have to say. But nevertheless, little bass. And um, little fellow went back in to fight another day. Getting quite busy now with boats going up and down. At the uh, RNLI. Just go out. I think they were just going out practicing but they must be cooking their watsits off wearing all that clobber and we've had a few of these going backwards and forwards fishing is a strange sport isn't it 
Um, Ross came down and wanted to fish the beach, but the beach is absolutely covered in this sort of red weed. There are great clumps of it, and I know what's going to happen as the tide comes in and starts reaching it, it's going to be all over our line. At least where I am here is weed free, but I suspect once the tide starts pushing back again, it will push all the weed back up the river. So uh, that's when I'll stop. But it shows there are fish in here. So a little school back. I just had a steamer of a bite. Is he going to bite again? I think it is. Let's see what we got. No. What is it with you and missing bites? All right, let's get it out there again. I'll hold the rod this time. Come on, fish, grab it. Times like these, I always remember my uncle. And uh, he used to take me down to New Haven to where the ferry port was and used to be able to walk through right down into the sort of mouth and there was this sort of wooden, um, they were made of railway sleepers I suppose and you could walk out and then just fish over the edge and uh, we used to go down there eel fishing and it's unusual, I haven't caught an eel for years. Um, you can't keep them now, it's illegal because they're endangered um, for many reasons, pollution, lack of habitat, um, people eating them I suppose, but uh, for such a tiny little fish they do put a right old clatter and a rattle up on your rod and particularly if you've got a light rod and I haven't done this for such a length of time and it kind of reminds me of how much I've missed it. It's been really, really good. Just these little, D -d 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 -d, what could it be? But you have to be mighty quick. Oh, there's something on there. Huh, not what I really want, <laughs> I have to say. I don't think these are people's favourites, particularly, but um, a fish is a fish. Now, how are we going to deal with you? Newspaper, I think is the, the way forward. What my granddad always used to use. Let's see if that works. So you then don't get covered in eel gunge. God, you're slippery buggers, isn't you? But that's where the saying slippery as an eel comes from. So, I was kind of thinking, well, not a lot going on here, but you can't odds that, can you? Another piece of nature. Quite extraordinary little thing. Come out of there. Right, in you go. Away we go. Certainly give a little good, good old little bite. I think I'll keep that paper out just in case more eelies come along. Alright, we'll keep you up there for dealing with eels. A fisherman should always finish with a rod in his hand and um, I've just lost all the uh, end tackle it's quite snaggy out here weeds all starting to come back in as the tide turned and bites have stopped so I think that's a good signal to go home but as ever to you all out there thank you really appreciated you all watching and your lovely comments as ever um, I'm looking forward to Sunday 
and I will catch up with all of you on Sunday. So take care and look after yourselves. We'll see you on Sunday.